Hey guys, uh, this is another video. This one will be about the uh, Digitrack Zephyr and CV programming on uh, DCC systems. So uh, what I got here is a, it's a Broadway Limited Blue Line uh, 282 Mikado. And uh, I'll show you just a little bit of programming CVs. Uh, this, I guess, will work with any train that has CV programming, although this uh, Broadway Limited it has been the easiest, and I'll do that with my Digitrack Zephyr here. So uh, first off, look if you're using a Broadway Limited locomotive, check in the uh, box. There'll usually be information. Usually, we'll oh, right there. You might want to read that. Uh, it wants it to be programmed in operations mode, which on the Zephyr is listed as ops mode. Um, and I'll do it on the main track just because that's easiest. You could also do direct mode, which is on the programming track. But uh, it's easiest to just leave it on the track and program it like that. So uh, if it's blue line, you just pull this foam thing up and under there you will find the operator's manual, which is right here. And assuming you've already installed a decoder and haven't changed anything, it uh, should operate on uh, locomotive address 3. So uh, just plug in uh, Although, right now it's on 969 because I've already worked with this locomotive before. But uh, say this was Loco, Loco 3, uh, just plug it in and test it out. Make sure that that's the right one. Alright, so that's it. Now, uh, personally, I think this locomotive is pretty loud right now. Uh, when you ring the bell, well not the bell, the horn, the whistle, it uh, vibrates the tender and also after a while of running it just gets a little bit irritating hearing all the noise from it so I'm gonna turn it down so that you don't hear it unless you lean in so uh, I'll just show you it is pretty loud right now so yeah that's pretty loud so uh, we want to put it on the main track here and I'll just zoom in on this thing right here you what I'm doing. So right here, this is the Zephyr. We've got him on the main track right now. Uh, see that right there? Just on the track. That's all you need. And uh, so then, what you want to do is select the locomotive. In this case, 9629. And uh, I'm just going to get it out of the way here because it is pretty loud. Alright, and I'll do that. Alright, so then check in your manual. Uh, open up to the CV page here, and it'll list all the CVs and what they do. CV8 is the reset one, uh, 1931, all those. So I'm looking for the master volume, and it is right, right there. So CV133 and values 0 through 15. So on the Zephyr here, we will, so right here, what you want to do is on the main track, press the cr program button right here then press it until you get to ops mode which is right there that's for the main line and then press the steps or the CV button so press CV and then we want to put in uh, 133 so type 133 press CV again now this will let you edit it uh, right now it's at uh, 15 which a uh, higher number is louder so let's put it down to uh, five Let's see what that's like and then when you're done press the CV um, that's right right there it's a uh, CVWR press that and then turn the track power off and then when you turn it back on select your locomotive again which probably at this point should be locomotive number three and uh, see what it should be different yeah so a lot quieter now. So that is a uh, CV programming. And like I said, um, this will work with any train that needs to be needs some adjustments uh, CV programming
Um, so just checking the operator's manual, look up uh, the DCC charts and which one does what, and then just, uh, well, the, the Zephyr it works this way anyway, so if you have a different DCC system, it's probably going to be different, but uh, if you're a Zephyr user like me, this is pretty much all you have to do. So just press the program button, go to ops mode, press CV to select your CV, press CV again, it'll show you the current setting, plug in your new setting, and then press the uh, CVWR. Uh, I don't know what that, that might be CV write. Oh yeah, this one's CV read, RD, and that's one's WR for CV write, which is changing the CV setting. So uh, that's it for the DCC programming. Um, but that will work with any CV, it's not just the um, master volume. We could change the brake control, we could change the whistle or the bell, which um, actually, I think we can do that, because if I recall, the bell on this one's pretty loud. Yeah. So, we're, let's put the, the bell down, and I'll just show you guys. It's not only the master volume, it works with all the CVs. So, uh, that's current the CV right now. It's kind of loud, compared... I think it's loud, so... Let's try this here. That's what we want to do. Yeah, I'll turn the bell off. Select your locomotive, 9629, it's on the main track. Go to programming mode, ops mode. Pull out, find your bell volume, which is right here, CV136. So I'm gonna press CV136, CV. Currently it's at five, so I'm gonna plug in a new one. Let's try uh, two. And then press the CV right button. Turn the track off, power back on. Uh, give your locomotive some power. Actually, I think it's so loud you can't even hear it right now. Uh, well, I hear it going now. Let's let's put it back up. It's pretty quiet. All right, so ops, CV one thirty six, CV. Let's put it back to. Uh, Try four. Zero four. Right. Power off. Power on. Give it some. Uh... Alright, I hear it there. I don't know what you guys do. Let's uh, try this out here. See if you hear it. I can hear it. It's very quiet. I'll probably tone it back up. So, let's do that real quick once more. If you make a big mistake, you can always change CV8 back to 8. So that's a common one. Alright, so CV136, CV... Let's put it up to, uh... Let's try 8. CV right, power off, power back on. Um, alright, well I don't hear the, uh... The bell right now. Oh, right, there it is. Yeah, I hear it. Alright. So, uh, that's how you change the CVs. I don't know if you guys hear it, but I hear it, and it's uh, where I want it. I'm not making it up. You probably just can't hear it. I don't know why. But, uh, it's there. So, again, if you uh, make a mistake, all you have to do is go to Ops, uh, CV08, press CV again, set it to 8, press the right button, and it'll put it all back to normal. But I'm not going to do that because I uh, kind of like it the way it is. So that's uh, changing the CVs on the Digitrack Zephyr. Thanks for watching.